Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the 8th episode of Senyu Shoujo. Now last episode we had Rain, and we know what Rain means in any kind of romance anime. It's a chance for a, a couple or a future people that will eventually become a couple have a chance to be under the umbrella together, you know. So that's referred to as like a lover's umbrella sort of thing. That's kind of what Nanako was, uh, was hoping for. And I think she got that if I remember correctly. But we also had some rabbit shenanigans because there was like a storm or something, destroyed the home. There was a monster rabbit nearby that turned out to be AG wearing bunny ears, which is very frightening. So rumors were not an exaggeration. And uh, uh, who I think her name was Tao. Yeah, she kind of predicted that local man would ruin everything. And I think that was an accurate prediction. So let's get into the episode and see exactly what he ruins today. So three, two, one, play. Actually, now that I think about it, I think they said something about a beach episode at the end of last episode, if I remember correctly. Although I may be getting it mixed up with the Sakai Quartet. And why are you still wearing the rabbit ears? Do you hate me that much? Well, maybe you should go somewhere to, uh, to cool off. Or you could, like, fan your skirt. That works, too. Make it cold easily. <laughs> I believe that. Yeah, that's certainly not true. That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, well, you don't need one, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, I love how Mane and I are on the same page. I didn't even need to say anything. Uh. Well, I mean, that's what makes it so great. I don't see what the problem is. You look fantastic in a swimsuit. Or in your birthday suit. <laughs> yeah. And I am glad for that. Well, a little bit of embarrassment is good, but... <laughs> uh... Can I hear more about that, please? I like the current conversation. We don't need to change it. <laughs> That's a great start. Just yeah. As soon as Nanako said the thing about not only the swimsuits, you know, I just Amani pretty much said anything I was going to say there. So Amani's on point. Because I was trying to think about how to say what I was going to say, but I think Amani covered it just fine. And that's something I thought about before as well, that it's like a bikini swimsuit covers about as much skin as an underwear does for a girl, so... It always is a little bit weird to me that one is considered okay to wear in public and one's not, but, you know... It doesn't bother me or anything, but it's just one of those things that I always thought was a little bit weird. Like, I've seen people try to explain the difference before. Still doesn't fully click with me, but it doesn't really matter. Because I'm not going to be wearing a bikini anytime soon. If Nanako wore a swimsuit, the audience would be very happy. See, I could finish that title for you. So, I look forward to seeing the swimsuits. <laughs> okay, that's that's a good response. <laughs> the gang's all here. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Hold down, please. I guess so. Wow, this place must be good. It's literally sparkling. I've seen enough swimsuit choosing scenes in my day to have an idea of how the scene will go. But since this is not an etchy anime, it won't, it won't get too exciting or anything. Like, it's not going to be like Yuragi Sono Unison, but this will be kind of fun.
<laughs> I bet. Ooh, there we go. There's always gonna be at least one of those in a any swimsuit choosing scene. <laughs> I don't think Nanako would survive wearing that. Neither would I, actually. <laughs> I'm sure any swimsuit would look cute if you wear it, Nanako. <laughs> I love the faces on the- I love the sketchbook faces so much. It's so great. Oh, oh no! Emoto, get! He's got you, you're not getting away now. Uh oh... Is she, is she wearing clothes in there? That's my first question. <laughs> Uh, getting called out by a little sister. Oh, wow! Uh... <laughs> damn. I... I did not think that was a swimsuit at first, I'll be honest. But it makes sense, of course. I think it's good. I have no complaints. I... 10 out of 10. Would look at again. What's wrong with you? I... Uh, I think I hear something. Oh. <laughs> oh no, let's let's keep her away from anything inappropriate, please. You don't want to corrupt that young girl. Again, what is wrong with you? I'm sure he'd like to see it. I'm sure he would. <laughs> She's barely started to take anything off, and it's already really good. No, no, let's get the camera back in there, please. Uh, no, that's not where the camera's meant to be. It's too late, isn't it? You look great, Nanako. Very cute. I am. I like it. We could, <laughs> we could do better, but I think it's fine. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, you have to skip. You have to be. You have to expose a lot more skin than that. Ooh. I mean, it probably went me over, but like I said, we could do better. Wow, not a go. Okay, that is that is a lot better. Just <laughs> I, I can accept this one. I can accept this one. But if we can do better, that's good too. But I can accept this one. <laughs> What? Oh my god, wow. It took me a second to realize, but oh god. <laughs> you know, Melon, the perfect size for her, I guess. So did we get, so did go get the last one she tried on? Because that's a good choice. I was about to go like, oh, like all together or something, but they did not do that. Anyway, it's time for the water. Get to see the swimsuits in action. That's a great idea. I thoroughly agree. <laughs> uh, I think a swimsuit's fine. So, who's up next? Wow. That, that does not cover a lot at the bottom. It was a little bit too bright, honestly, so it blind me. Yes, so what did she end up getting? That is the thing she would do. Yeah, I would prefer this to be girls only if I get if I did if I did get a choice. Of course she did. But yeah, I would prefer girls only for this event. So, uh Am I not, Nautico? Show us what you got. I got my screenshot button ready and everything. Oh, wow. Oh, God. You are a lot bigger than I thought you were, Nautico. Whew. Yeah, this is Nautico's turn. <laughs> yeah, fine choice. Fine choice, Nautico. <laughs> yeah, that got everyone's attention. You look great, Nautico. <laughs> Oh, she can fidget all she wants. It's okay. <laughs> uh, how could they make Hanukkah expose so much skin? 
I should be outraged, but I, I... Well then, <laughs> that was unfortunate. Uh... Well, I mean... <laughs> if things worked out for Reiji, he'd see a lot of your skin anyway, so... Yeah, I thought you had things to do. <laughs> just picks up his little sister like, yeah, this is the thing I had to do. And her sister's cute, too. Of course, uh, Koto is, uh, he fills out quite nicely. <laughs> She's not actually naked. She's just in her underwear. Even in the dark, you still look good there, Nanako. It's not the kind of thing you intend to do, it just sort of happens. Actually grabbed his hand. <laughs> I'll block you with Senryu. <laughs> uh, that's a fair trade, I suppose. It's okay, I see it. That's all that matters. That's a good question, actually. Now I can't help but wonder where she was keeping that. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure it is. I'm sure that skin feels like literal heaven. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite part. Okay, I, have, I certainly have a couple of favorite parts of Nanako. <laughs> yeah, I love the little sister. She's great. Just, she had a lot of good parts this episode, just, you know, looking for AG stash in his room, calling him naughty or whatever, grabbing, non grabbing Nanako's leg, <laughs> talking about how wonderful it is. She, she had some great moments this episode. Of course, Koto, uh, Koto had her good moments too. <clears throat> <laughs> not a, not a, gotta love Nanako in the in the pool. <laughs> really do love Koto's like pose in that part of the PD. AG and Nanako's dad, uh I'm pretty sure they have different dads, okay? So, I guess it is misread it. I guess they're just trying to say they'll... There's maybe... Maybe Eiji's dad and Nanako's dad will, like, meet each other. Maybe that's what they meant. But, uh, you know. Because they have the same dad, it would be siblings, and that would be a very different type of show <laughs> if that was the case. I would still watch it, of course, but it would be a different type of show. The point. Anyway. Yeah, that was the, uh, the eighth episode of Senryu Shoujo. And I remembered correctly, this was the, well, not really a beach episode exactly, it was a pool episode, but, you know, same difference. Uh, the point is, we had to get swimsuits and go. Now, not, not a good didn't have a swimsuit, and although we, you know, thought about the idea for going just, you know, without any any clothing at all, I guess Nanako wasn't a big fan of that, so we decided to get a proper swimsuit, which is okay, too. I can accept that. But I do like how we're keeping that running joke with uh, Amani and the nakedness, because you know how before uh, we had her like drawing the fruits and stuff naked, you know, and now she's now thinking of Nanako like that, although all of us do, so that's not, that's not unique to her, of course, but just saying that's part of her character. So eventually, yeah, everyone just kind of went together. I don't, I don't remember, yeah, I think everyone went sw swimsuit shopping, yeah, because you had Tao that had the silliness of being like on the mannequin, which after a couple seconds I realized what she was doing. It's something because my brain was having trouble processing what I was looking at. I was like, "What? This is not this is not Tao, is it?" But that's her head. But after a couple seconds of that, I realized, "Oh, she's she's being silly behind a mannequin." I get it now. But uh, you know, it's 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 okay. Everyone, you just you be happy with your own body. It's 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 all good. You don't have to be jealous of anyone else. Everybody has their pros and cons. Although Nanako certainly does have a a very good one, a very good one. And she got to try on a couple swimsuits, although she didn't actually end up getting the one she tried on. She got, like, a white one. But the ones she tried on in the store were still pretty good. Like, the, the, there wasn't a bad one she tried on. I could have 
accepted pretty much any swimsuit she had tried on because she's kind of like she's kind of the kind of character that she can wear just about anything and she'll look good in it. She's that type. So, you know, no surprises there. We did see some swimsuits that may have been a bit too much of Nanako, like the Brazilian swimsuit and all that, which would have been interesting as well, but nah, she of course wouldn't grab that. We also had a scene with uh with AG back at his place, because he walks in there. Toto was apparently already there in his room. So as soon as I heard that, I had a, I knew we would walk into something interesting when he opened that door. And I wasn't wrong. She was laying on the bed in a swimsuit, although I did not think it was a swimsuit at first. And she was just looking looking very good. Looking quite fine, you might even say. So yeah, that was quite something. That's something that you always want to... Whenever you go home and you open the door, you're always kind of hoping you see something like that. But usually you don't. But in his case, in that case, he got it. So, you know, good for him. So, uh, why was she wearing the swimsuit again? I mean, she didn't go with the, the group there, did she? <laughs> I love that one shot. You got Koto just standing in, the, in like the side of the shot with her arms folded, you know, looking good as always. And then you just have the little sister just looking into the bed for the goods. That's pretty messed up. But, but if he doesn't have any, he claims he doesn't have any, so I guess I'll believe him. And yeah, that's when we got the, the Nako change of, the Nanako swimsuit stuff. I know I kind of got the order of those scenes mixed up a bit, but it's okay. It's all good. We eventually made our way to the to the to the pool. And we got to see everyone in the swimsuits, which I there wasn't a bad one in the bunch really, they were all pretty good. I really do love Kino's sketchbook faces, like you don't even know, just especially when they're like really over the top, like just really cutesy, like super duper. <laughs> that is great. And of course the running gag of her saying a lot through text is also kind of funny because it's a bit of a contradiction. You know, usually if you're the kind of person that doesn't like to talk out loud aloud, you will keep your communication to a minimum, and yet she just like tons and tons of words in that paper. Like getting way more wordy than she needs to be. So pretty funny on that regard. And not a go. Yeah, when she walked out of there, she got plenty of attention. <laughs> and including AG, who was there somehow. So his plans that allowed him, that stopped him from being able to go with them to the pool was to go to the pool with his little sister. So that's, uh, well, that's the thing. Was was Koto even there? Okay, she was. Yeah, in this shot at like 9.46. So she, she did think it could go as well. So that explains why she... That was so messed up by, by Amane. Nanako chan can't handle the stress of being seen naked, so now she won't come out. Is that no. She was not naked. As much as people would like that, that's not not the case. And then Nanako just blocks his eyes with his with his with with her Tanzaku that she kept somewhere. We don't know where she kept it. Probably the lady's secret pocket if I had a venture, I guess. So in which case you should be pretty excited to have that pressed up against him. And then little sister just making sure to get the best spot, really. <laughs> at least the best spot she can get at her height, I guess. Her favorite spot of Nanako's. <laughs> Whatever she called it, that was great. Anyway, the point is, really good episode. Yeah, any, any, any type of beach episode, a swimsuit episode, I really enjoy a lot. And this did not disappoint, you know. This is not an etchy anime or anything, so it just kind of there was kind of a limit to how much, uh, you know, and fan service like really be as a result but still within that scope of the, what type of show it is i'd say it delivered pretty well on that front i would say i would definitely say i have no real complaints about the episode to be honest did nanako do her best to wear a swimsuit and to expose so much skin was great I especially like especially like kino's uh sketch that has says like okay on it you know that's probably one of my favorite ones that she does just like, just like, okay, you know, that just, good, good. He don't need more screen time. That's the real takeaway from the episode. Although so does the little sister. The never disappointing scene with her. Anyway, point is, good episode. I liked it. Love it. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.